I remember my teacher calling out, Children, gather around. It's group reading time. My stomach got those butterflies, and I didn't feel so good. This was my second time in first grade, and I was so embarrassed. I knew what was coming. I had done it the year before and failed. I was not a good reader, so I was held back. My teacher told me not to worry, that I would catch on. Unfortunately, I didn't. How could I, with no additional help? The school and teachers knew I was struggling, but no effort was made to make a change. So I went on to second grade to have the same results. Receiving an award, how exciting! I was receiving student of the year. Most would think, what an honor, but I was scared. I had an extremely rough home life. My father was in prison, and I was afraid that my mother wouldn't come. She never attended anything before. What if someone asked where my parents were? How would I answer that? I also didn't feel that I deserved this award since I was still struggling with reading and spelling. I had no self-confidence. My school years continued, and so did my struggles. Teacher after teacher, year after year, no one said stop. This child is not understanding the material and needs help. My home life became unbearable, and then at 14 I met a boy, finally someone who loved me and would pay attention to me. I gave all my attention to that boy, and very little to school. Who cares? I wasn't good at school anyway. When I was 15 I became pregnant. I was so scared and my self-confidence was so low. How would I give this beautiful baby a good life when I was so dumb? I began attending a continuation school called Pioneer High. I had a teacher named Louise Tuthill who said, Amanda, you have two roads. One will be really rough, but it will give your daughter a life that you never had and always wanted. The other is much easier and will result in the same life you had as a child. Which are you going to do? Which one are you willing to take for your daughter? I told her, I want my daughter to have a life I have always dreamt of and to never struggle in the ways that I have. Louise told me to put in the work and walk down that road. Finally, I had someone to lead me in the right direction. On graduation day, wow, most feel what an achievement and are so excited on their graduation day. Not me, I had mixed feelings. I was receiving this diploma a year early but not because I was smart and had improved. No, it was because I was given packets to complete and the more I did, the more I received. But I wasn't learning. Not all of my teachers were like Luis. Most didn't care and we students continued to fall through the cracks. I was so scared to get out in the real world because I knew I didn't have the skills needed to be successful. Life was just as hard as Luis said it would be but I didn't give up. I worked hard and even harder to hide my weaknesses. I told myself if I hide them well enough, nobody will notice. Boy, was I wrong. My weaknesses controlled me and held me back. When I met my husband, my fears were in full swing. He was so handsome and well-educated. I didn't feel that I deserved him, but he showed me he loved me, weaknesses and all. He knows all my fears and encourages me to overcome them. We have created a beautiful family together, which I am so grateful for. When my youngest daughter began to struggle with reading, I knew I had to do something. While researching local programs to help her, I came across a program at the Butte County Library where struggling young readers could come to the library and read to dogs. How cute, I thought. Ella loves dogs. I continued to research and found the Adult Literacy Program, also at the library. Wow, something for me too. I knew if I made a change, I could help my daughter and I knew it was time. I called and spoke with a woman named Heather who partnered me with Catherine. This was a match made in heaven. Catherine has been working with me for over a year now and has helped me become a better reader, speller, and writer. I've completed three courses at Butte College and received an A in all three. Butte Literacy Services and Catherine helped give me the courage to face my fears 
and deal with them once and for all. I am showing my children that they can do anything they set their minds to. Through this journey, I have learned that there are two types of mindsets, a fixed mindset and a growth mindset. A person with a fixed mindset believes that intelligence has fixed limits and there is no way to reach beyond that. Someone with a growth mindset believes that taking challenges on and views struggles as a positive experience. That is to say, if you are struggling, you are learning. I have went from a fixed mindset to a growth mindset. Now knowing that the work that I put in, when I am struggling, I am learning. When I am learning, I am growing. You will never be good at something when you first start to do it. You must put the work in. You must put the effort and dedication towards it. When you do this, you will achieve your goals. I encourage each and every one of you to never give up. Reach for your dreams and know you will achieve them.